Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, you're all like my children, my children, my boys, you're like my boys. Anyway, welcome to an experimental little thing that I'm trying out that could turn into something quite large. I'm hoping that it'll grow, it'll make it past pregnancy, uh, a podcast revival. I've been thinking about this for a little bit, and uh, I was thinking that, hey, I'll give it a shot. You know, I mean, uh, where would Jesus be if he didn't give it a shot? I, well, I guess he'd be alive, uh, but that's not the point. Point is, the, the podcast, the podcast point. Ooh, I bet what you're thinking is, what is this podcast gonna be? And I hope it to be poopery. I did a little rhyme. Who? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm getting all tingly in my pants. Uh, well, I'm hoping this podcast can be a collection of things, a collection of fun things. We can talk about any which thing. We can talk about the news. We can talk about movies. We can talk about movies you watch on your TV screen. We could talk about TV shows you watch on your movie screen. We could talk about your family. We can talk about philosophy and the existential dread that is reality. Hell, if you don't walk away from this podcast at least 50% more enlightened about the world that we live in today, I, I'm, I'm going to be a really sad guy. I'm going to have a frown and I'm going to buy myself a big handkerchief. I'm going to be crying so much. Alrighty, righty. So why don't we start off this little experiment cutting right to the chase. That's what my great-grandpappy told me right before he died on his deathbed. He grabbed me by the throat and he whispered right into my face. He said, when you're recording a podcast, you cut straight to it. And then he died. Now this was... Uh, the, the year was 1995. This is long before podcasts were even a thing, so uh, to this day it remains a miracle that this uh, even happened. I'd figure... I'd figure we get things started with uh, world news. Let's talk about the world. I mean, we all live on a world. This world. That's what we all have in common. If you're black or you're white, you know, the only two differences... We all, we all live on a planet, and there's things that happen in it that you might not know that could affect you directly. There could be a bomb that goes off on the other side of the world that somehow creates a butterfly effect of circumstances and situations that set into a, a chain of events that somehow wind up to you having your first anal prolapse. I don't know what happens. That's, that's nature. That's time. Uh, ask a scientist. So... Government shut down! The government was open, now it's not. Some people blame the Democrats, some people blame the Republicans. Most people blame the Republicans. But, you know, no one knows, no one's talking about the real situation here. Open your eyes, America! All you have to do is just look at this Barack Obama character. I mean, if you just used your eyes, I mean, he's obviously a reptilian in disguise out to thwart America and everything we stand for. I mean, just, I mean, you want proof? Just look at his scales. Look at his scales. Oh, just look at him. He's obviously a, a lizard, and he's out to drink your blood and use his magic ice powers to destroy... Th that's right, lizards have ice powers. I'll explain that in another podcast. But they're out there, and they're out to kill you and your children. And they're out to kill your unborn children via time travel. That's how diabolical these creatures are. And uh, I'm the only person who gets it. And until America starts waking up and open up their eyes to the truth, this government is going to be shut down forever. You can, uh, I, I put, I can put money down on that one. Tell them Mike sent you. That's, uh, that's a catchphrase I'm trying out for the, for the podcast. I don't, you know, at a one out of ten, let me know how good that was. I'd say six. 
Alright, so let's take a nosedive into media discussion. Let's talk about uh, current movie pictures that are playing at the local cinema. Uh, I, let's see here. Gravity, starring Mr. Clooney and Sandra Bullock. Bullock is at, at number one at the box office. Uh, this is pretty cool news because uh, it's an original movie with an original plot, uh, a very uh, unique style of filmmaking, uh, and it's number one. This is the first time that it's not like a, a fucking reboot or a uh, adaptation of some kind of young adult novel that's uh, raking in the dough. Uh, I saw it. I liked it. I didn't think it was as amazing as everyone is saying it is. Uh, mostly because I thought the, their, uh, their, um, their symbolism was a little ham-fisted. It had, like, this rebirth message to it, the whole movie. I'm not spoiling anything by this, but uh, the whole theme is about rebirth, and, uh, I get it. It's, oh, oh, look, the tube, the tube looks, makes it looks like she's a baby. Uh, oh, I get it. Next, I wanted to talk about some television series. I'm sorry if this is a very jagged and rigid f style of a podcast right now. I'm hoping to smooth things out in the future. If you'll allow me, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll, if you'll hold my hand through this, we'll make it. Anyway, uh, some big TV shows just wrapped up, and I thought, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about them. Uh, Breaking the Bads is one of them, obviously. Another one was, uh, The Dexter. The Dexter. That wrapped up, too. So let's talk about them, huh? Uh, let's, let's, let's get, uh, Dexter out of the way. Uh, it sucked. Terrible. Awful. Um, I thought... Dexter started to be pretty shitty ever since the John Lithgow season. Um, but up until that point, I thought Dexter was a pretty, pretty good show. Uh, not to the best, but interesting. Uh, and I thought the John Lithgow character was uh, pretty awesome. But then, like, from, you can tell, the precise point uh, when the writers realized they ran out of ideas was the beginning of the next season. It just became like a shitty fucking soap opera. It was it was kind of bizarre actually how crazy that show got. And so uh we're here at the finale. Uh Dexter um beats the bad guy, I think, and then uh then fakes his death and becomes a lumberjackman. Becomes a treesman, a wizard of the trees. So uh, I prepared his his new theme song. Here it is. <laughs> 